Hi, this is Annie Tho, and welcome again to Sensing Vitality. Today we're going to work with your balance, and this is a very fun lesson to help with anything from ankle sprains to stroke, uh, if you want to just be more graceful in your walking or running. So we're going to use a rock today. I have a real hefty one that I like to use, but I brought just another size just to show you. But I'm going to use the larger one, but something fairly large so that uh, we're going to be using this with your feet and also um, other places. So grab a rock, and the other thing is a blanket roll. And I have lots of videos with blanket rolls, and they're great for improving balance. So we're going to start without the blanket roll and just place the rock underneath your foot. And there's something immediate about working with rocks. I love rocks so much because they are so old. All right. There's sort of nothing in our landscape much older than a rock that I can think of. And your nervous system very quickly attunes to that quiet stillness. So as you place the rock under your foot, just notice the response in your body. And if you've sprained your ankle a lot, or you've had other injuries to your knee or your hip or your low back, you'll feel some what can I say? Some, I'll just say some response to the rock. Now, take your foot away and just see the difference without having it on the rock. And there's a contrast to our nervous system when we do this. It's very subtle, but we're training your mind and body to listen right now. Okay, now let's come and take a roll, a blanket roll. And it's very different than using a foam roller or something really hard. The blanket is soft because you're going to straddle it and it allows your pelvic floor to relax. All right. So it is important that you use a blanket or you can use a, uh, some towels, something like that. I've even used a jacket to roll up. Okay. If it's too soft and too squishy, you don't feel your bones. So as you sit here, you're Feel your sit bones, and if you've had something significant like a stroke, do this against a wall so that you feel like you have something to hold on to or put a chair next to you. All right, and then place that rock so that you can put your foot on top of the rock, all right, and feel the foot just relaxing on there. And with the other foot, just tap your heel. Now the tapping, it stimulates the bone, right? And then see without tapping, can you feel the bone all the way up your body, all right? The more we can feel the bones, the quieter the muscles become. And your balance will improve just by feeling your bones. Take away your foot from the rock. Feel the flatness, all right? And now let's take away the roller. So as you sit, I'll move this a little bit. As you sit on a flat chair here, you should really feel your sit bones after sitting on that roll. All right. Now tap the heel that you had the rock under and the other heel. OK. And you should be able to feel that heel a little more clearly. All right. Now, take a hold of the rock, and we're going to do something interesting. We're going to place the rock on top of your knee, okay, the thigh area of the knee. And now you're going to tap the heel, and let's put hand over hand here. Tap the heel with the rock between your hands and your knee. All right, and let's even move the heel a little bit right and a little bit left. So you're pivoting on the ball of your foot. Pivot, pivot. This is harder than it looks. You're trying to feel through the rock to feel your heel. Now some of you may be like, ah, oh, I can feel my heel just fine. But can you keep the rock 
still. So you're not moving the rock. Go ahead and move it. Now keep it still and moving the heel back and forth. Let's take the rock down. And now feel the difference with this heel as you tap compared to that heel. Okay? So what we're trying to do here is clear the pathway for the mind and the body to sense the support of your feet underneath you. When you've had a brain injury or a sprain or a knee injury, a lot of times those pathways get confused or stressed. I don't know how you want to say it, but they get interrupted. Let's say that. All right, now let's come back and we're going to grab both your rock and your roll. Sounds like we should have music in the background. So you're going to straddle and place the rock on your knee. Okay, so this is a little bit harder. Hand on top of the other hand. And now you're going to roll your pelvis side to side, but don't move the rock. So keep the rock still. So this is really great, of course, if you're a horseback rider, but for walking. All right, because when we walk, we want to have really sure feet on the ground. Running too. Now, notice I'm tapping my heel while I'm rolling with the rock. I have some other lessons a little bit like this. This is a little more advanced. All right, now let's take away the roll. Put the rock down just to rest. Ah, take a breath here and tap that heel. Compare it with the other side. And let's take the rock. Hand over hand. And now you're going to keep the rock still, but make a circle with your hips. Don't move the rock, but circle with your hips. I'm not going to do that right now on the roller, but that would be an advanced movement to make while sitting on the roll. Maybe we'll do it with the other side. Reverse the direction and really keep it steady so this isn't moving. So you have to be very relaxed in your upper chest. And now let's rest. All right, so I would like you to come to standing now. And I might be out of the picture here, but stand and feel the difference now on your left foot compared to the right foot. You can even take a few steps and wow, I feel like that foot just goes through the floor for me. It's amazing. Okay, now if you want, you can walk around a little bit and feel the difference. So we're gonna do the other foot now. So put your rock, and notice my rock isn't perfectly round. I have that like that on purpose because it, it's a little more advanced for me. But if you like, you can get a rock that's a little flatter so it's not quite so difficult. But I like it like this. And just allowing my foot to rest on the rock. So see if you can feel what happens to your body when you feel the rock. So take a couple breaths. And just feel that. And then take your foot away and tap your heel. All right, and feel the difference in the foot. Now let's try it with the roll. So you notice each time I re roll my roller here just to make it nice and tight. So I'm going to put my foot on the rock. And you notice that my knee is right over the ankle, which is, you know, a little bit in front of the ankle for where the rock is, but somewhere in that place. Hand over hand. And let's see if you can roll your pelvis side to side. Roll your pelvis side to side, keeping your hands still. 
And then let's come away and rest for a moment. And then tap. And feel the difference now in your feet. Okay, and then we'll do one more time. I'm going to make it a little harder. So placing the rock now on the knee, hand over hand, tap your heel. Okay, so we would just start with this, tapping with the rock on top of the knee now. All right, tap, tap. And then let's try to roll and tap, roll and tap. Roll and tap, and then we'll add the pivoting. But keep, look at my rock is wobbling. Keep the rock stable, stable. Oh, this is hard, right? And I'm going to rock my pelvis Woo, while I move my foot. Wow, OK? But boy, is that great if you're a soccer player, basketball player, or you're just recovering from an injury. All right, let's come away now and see how that feels. So can you really feel your sit bones now on the chair or the bench? Can you feel your heels? Right, and then here, can you feel with the stone? And we do the circles, right? Circles, and like I say, if you want to make us more advanced, try sitting on a roll and making a circle with your pelvis. See if you can keep your head in the middle. Reverse. Now try some tapping. <laughs> could keep making this harder and harder. Tapping while you do the rolling. Tapping your heel. Tap the other heel. Excellent. There we are. So now we are ready to rock and roll can stand up now, see how it feels to stand, walk around. Repeat this lesson as many times as you like. It's, it's helpful to repeat because you want to keep feeling more and more of your skeleton, more and more of the skeletal, the bone contact with the ground. Thanks for joining me, and I look forward to our next lesson. Take care.